And here is the Writer's Almanac for Tuesday. It's the 1st of June, 2021. It was on this day in 1921, a hundred years ago, a white mob looted and burned 35 city blocks in the Greenwood District of Tulsa, a thriving black business and residential area known as the Black Wall Street, a riot that began after word spread of a supposed assault by a young black man against a white woman as they rode an elevator together. The man, Dick Rowland, was arrested and charged. The charges later dismissed, but angry white crowds gathered and officials did very little to keep the peace. The National Guard held more than 6,000 black Tulsans at the fairgrounds and the convention hall, and a day later, Greenwood lay in ruins, 1,200 homes destroyed, a hospital, churches, schools, the library, as many as 300 people died. Blacks who were held in custody were not released unless they were vouched for by a white person. No one was ever prosecuted. The event was termed a race riot, which meant that insurance companies did not have to pay claims to Greenwood residents whose property was destroyed. The Tulsa Historical Society and Museum now calls it the 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre. It was on this day in 1937, Amelia Earhart and her navigator Fred Noonan left Miami on their ill-fated round-the-world trip in a Lockheed Electra, which disappeared after a stop in New Guinea on the 29th of June that year, with only 7,000 miles to go. Neither of their bodies nor the plane have ever been found. It's the birthday of the poet John Maysfield, born in 1878, who wrote the poem that begins, I must go down to the seas again, to the lonely sea in the sky, and all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by. Today is the day we celebrate the birth of Dante. We don't know what day it was, but he was born in 1265. We know that he met his great love and muse Beatrice when he was about nine years old, the love of his life. They never married, but he remembered her, and he wrote his human comedy for her, The Inferno, The Purgatorio, and Paradiso, which he finished shortly before he died of malaria at 55. Here's a poem for today by W.S. Merwin, One Summer. It is hard now to believe that we really went back that time, years ago to the small town a mile square along the beach, and a little more than a century old where I had been taken when I was a child, and nothing seemed to have changed, not the porches along the quiet streets, nor the faces on the rockers, nor the sea smell from the boardwalk at the end of the block, nor the smells from the cafeteria in a house like the others along the same sidewalk, nor the hush of the pebbled streets without cars, nor the names of the same few hotels, nor the immense clabbered auditorium to which my mother had taken me to a performance of Aida. And you and I walked those streets in a late youth of our own and along the boardwalk toward music we heard from the old carousel. A poem by W.S. Merwin, one summer from his collection, The Moon Before Morning, published by Copper Canyon Press and used by permission here on The Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.